Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how you can calculate the protons, neutrons and electrons for any atom on the periodic table. Okay, we're going to use lithium as an example then. So I've got lithium which has got an atomic mass of 7 and an atomic number of 3. Now depending on the periodic table you use, the atomic mass might be at the top or at the bottom. But the key thing to remember is the mass is the large number, the atomic number is the small number. So this top large number, the atomic mass, that is the number of subatomic particles in the nucleus of the atom. You should remember that the nucleus of the atom contains protons and neutrons, therefore I know I have seven protons and neutrons combined. The bottom number, the smallest number, which is the atomic number, is the number of protons. So I know I have three protons in the nucleus of my atom. That bottom number also tells you the number of electrons, which is three. So the very first thing you do if you're asked how to work out the protons, neutrons and electrons is you can say that both protons and electrons are the small or the bottom number. Now as we said, that top number, the big number, the 7, that is the number of protons and neutrons combined. We now know we have three protons, therefore the rest are going to be neutrons. So all I need to do is take the big and the little number away. So 7 minus 3 gives me 4 neutrons. So it's the top takeaway bottom. Again, nice and simple. So if we have a look at another example, we're going to have a look at aluminium. Remember, the protons and electrons are the small number, and the neutrons is top takeaway bottom. So for aluminium, my protons is the small number, so it's 13. My electrons is also the small number, so I've got 13 electrons. And then to work out the neutrons, 27 takeaway 13 is 14, so I have 14 neutrons. And one final example, I've got zinc with a big number of 65 and a little number of 30. So small number, 30 protons, small number, 30 electrons, and 65 minus 30 is 35 neutrons. And that really is everything you need to know for this part of the video. Okay, time for you guys to have a go yourself then. So I've got three atoms here, boron, beryllium, and fluorine. I'd like you to work out the protons, neutrons, and electrons for each of them. One mark for each of them being correct. So pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Right, let's go through. So we'll start off with boron then. You should remember that the bottom number is the number of protons, it's also the number of electrons, so I've got five of each. And then your neutrons, big takeaway little, 11 takeaway five is six. So one mark for that one. Beryllium, bottom number, four, so that's your protons and electrons. Your neutrons, nine takeaway four is five. One mark for that one. And then fluorine, 19 and 9. 9 is a small number, that's the protons and electrons. Take them away from each other gives you 10 neutrons. So that is how you get all three marks here. Hopefully that makes sense and hopefully it's all come together nicely for you. There is a review question, which is explain all of the information you can get from the isotope of chlorine on the right hand side. So you've got top number 37, bottom number 17. What does that 17 tell you? How do you work out the neutrons? That's all we're looking for in this question. That brings everything to an end. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.